In this, the second part of a two-part tutorial, I will show you how to use the HTML Composer and create a dashboard using the three charts we created in part one. I will then show you how to make those charts drillable and link together in our dashboard. So now I have three charts. I want to put them on an HTML page. So we will right click on our graphs and charts folder and say new HTML file. Let's just call it student counts. And we'll open it up in the composer. We'll click create. We don't want to use a template. We want to start with a blank page. So we'll just click cancel here. So what we want to do now is lay out our chart. So we'll click on the chart icon here and we'll size our chart. We want our chart height to be 315 and our chart width was 475. We want to right mouse on our chart object and say reference an existing procedure and the first one we reference is our chart by school. And we'll say open. And I'll need to resize this so the, the width was supposed to be 475. And the height was 315. Okay. We also want to set it so the frame border does not get shown. So we'll say no to our frame border. So now we also want to pull, reference our other charts. So we'll just click on the chart object, draw a box, set the frame border to no, set the chart height to 315, the width 475 right mouse on it, reference an existing procedure, and this one is by department. We'll say open that guy. We'll have it create the control and we'll make it a hidden control and we'll say do not create the form for it and we'll say OK. So all our controls and everything is in this little panel here. We want to set this to auto execute. And our last chart will move down here. We'll set its height and width. So the height, once again, is 315. And the width was 950. We're going to reference an existing procedure, this time course. And this one requires two parameters. It already has the first one, which is the school short name. So now it needs to add create department. So we'll say create that. And we want that as well to be a new hidden box as well. We don't want to create the form. And we'll say create. So I'll move that over here, move this chart back up. <clears throat> we want to auto execute to be true. We do not want to show a frame border around this guy either. So we'll say no there. All right. So now I got my panel here. And inside that panel, there's this hidden button here. And I'm going to set its value to folk none. And on this panel, I'm going to click this button. I'm going to delete that button. And on this panel here, panel two, I have another hidden input. I'm going to set its value to folk none as well. I'm going to click on this button and delete it. And then just make sure that everything's set. The auto execute, auto execute, and auto execute. Now I can click on my panel right here in the white area, 
I get the body object, I can set the background color to black. We'll say OK here. So if I save that and run it, I now get all my charts that show up. Let me go ahead and get rid of this padded area. So let me close this. Let me click on this object. Go into the styling. And I can say background color is black. And edges are none. And OK for that object. We'll click on the next object. We'll set it the same way. Background color is black and the edges are all set to none. And lastly, the bottom one, background color is black, edges are none. We'll save it. If I hit run, I have a nice high contrast dashboard page. So if we'll close this, we'll save this and we'll close it. Okay, so now I ran my HTML page. If I run it here again, you can see that I get all my charts on my screen. Now nothing's set up to drill down, so when I click on an item, nothing drills down yet. So let's go ahead and close this. And I will go into the school report, because that's going to drill down to the department. So let's double click on the school, double click on the graph object, go to my data selection, and let's choose this year's student count, which is the blue column here. See, so there's an option here for drill down. So I'll click on this, that activates the button, click on the button, and I'm going to say I'm going to execute a procedure whenever I click on this field. So I'm going to click the browse button so I can find that procedure, which is the department procedure now. We'll click open. This procedure requires one parameter, so I'm going to click the Add Parameter icon. And that parameter is going to get its value from the school short name. And that parameter name is actually called school short name as well. And we'll say OK here. And we'll say OK here. We'll save this. And we'll quit out of this guy. I will close this procedure. Now I'm going to go into the department procedure, open it up in the graph editor, click the data selection tab. Once again, select this year, set up my drill down to execute a procedure, browse. This time we're going to go from the department to the course. I will choose open. This procedure requires two parameters. The first one is tied to the field school short name and that perimeter name is school short name as well and we'll say OK and the second parameter is tied to the department field and the de parameter name is department and we'll choose OK and we'll choose OK again here we'll save it we'll quit We'll close our procedure here. So now if I click on the student counts by school and I hit run, I get my report, my chart. I can click on any item such as business and I get the department for those I, those uh, school. If I click on a department here, I now get the students for that school for those courses. So let's go ahead and close this. Now, I have this HTML file here. So now these are my drill downs. So if I click on this guy, I actually want it to change over here. And if I click on my student departments, I want it to change down here in the student courses. So this object right here is called Graph 2. And the chart down here is called Graph 3. So let's close this. So now I'm going to right click on my school and say edit in the text editor. I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom, 
this is my drill down section right here so I'm going to say target if you're familiar with target or HTML target is a standard word used to define where you want to put your uh, drill down at link at and this is the school report and it's going to drill down to the department report which is in the graph to object so we'll just save that and close it and then the department one we're going to edit that as well scroll down to the bottom say target equal graph3 we'll save that and close it so now if I run my HTML page and hit run if I click on say for instance School of Business my departments over here only show for that department if I click on uh, Human Resources for instance now my courses are only for that Human Resources department